very much excited for this. I think this one's going to be it's, it's going to be crazy, man. I think, I think it's going to be a great bounce back fight. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough bounce back fight. But hey, man, if anybody can do it, it's the Soul Taker. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. And praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Dr. Boxer talk in the building, man. Check this out. So we have some news coming out of, you know, Tim Zoo's camp. You know what I'm saying? The Australian-born PBC fighter. You know, Tim Zoo, a.k.a. the soul taker. He be snatching them souls. What? Pause. But, uh, he, you know, he's set to return on September 22nd, man, for a match against none other than Erickson Lubin. Those of you unfamiliar with Erickson Lubin, man, he's a good, very good fighter. You know, uh, his only two losses come into uh, Jamel Charlo and Sebastian Fedora. That's a commonality that him and Tim Zhu have. You know, it's Tim Zhu suffering his one, his first and only loss. To Sebastian Fedora, but a lot of us had Tim Zhu winning, you know, for the brief time that, 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 uh, that he was able to fight without, uh, you know, a hindrance, like a cut in blood impairing your vision, you know. Um, you know, uh, he lost to Sebastian Fedora, but a lot of us attribute that loss to him suffering a, a very unfortunate cut on the top of his head that, that really significantly impaired his vision. I cannot see, I'm legally blind. And his ability to uh, fight. Um, but he still survived, you know, the full 12 rounds, but he lost via decision, man. Shout out to Tim Zhu, demonstrated he's a warrior. But, you know, he's making his return, his return not just uh, to boxing and the boxing ring, the square circle, but also to Australia, man. He's having a, having a homecoming, as, as you uh, would call it, you know, on September 22nd. That's what we're anticipated to see him. And, you know, I'm excited to see Tim Zhu because, you know, we were supposed to see him against Virgil Ortiz on the phenomenal... Uh, uh, card of uh, Terrence Crawford Israel Majumov on August 3rd but of course that fell through because once again the cut that Tim Zhu sustained during his uh, bout with Sebastian Fedora it just wasn't healed uh, uh, appropriately you know so he had to pull out of that fight um, because it, it wasn't it was definitively a deep profound gash on his head so um, yeah so he had to pull out from that fight but the dope thing about boxing lately man we can't really complain because I know I can't complain because not only did Virgil Ortiz get an opponent that I want to say is comparable to Tim Zhu, but he's very close. He's a very formidable opponent, and Serhii Boachuk, and he's going to be fighting not August 3rd, but August 10th, just a week later. You know, Tim Zhu is returning back to the ring very soon, and his opponent, his opponent, I want to say is as good as Virgil Ortiz, but Erickson Lubin is a proven, formidable fighter, man. So his adversary... After, uh, as, a, as a replacement for Virgil Ortiz is very good and not too shabby, man. So I'm appreciative of this, man. I think Virgil Ortiz and Serhii Bolchak is going to be a great fight. I think Erickson Lubin and uh, uh, Tim Zhu is going to be a great fight. However, you know, they also said that, I also read that uh, Tim Zhu, in, in the scenario in which he cannot get Erickson Lubin, let's say they don't come to terms or something, he's supposed to be fighting uh, Jesus Ramos instead, who's a young fighter. I wouldn't be as excited about this fight. You know, Jesus Ramos, he's only like, what, 22, 23 years old, something like that. You know, so he's relatively young. I think this would be too much of a step up for him. And when he did try to step up, uh, um, the step up the level of competition, you know, he lost to Erickson Lubin. You know, that's his one, that's his first and only loss, you know. Um, I believe it was a unanimous decision loss to Erickson, er, Erickson Lubin, excuse me. So uh, it's like, you know, there's a lot of commonality circling around, but what, I, what the main point is that I want to say that I'm excited for Tim Zoo, man. Big up Aussie boxing, man. Shout out to my Australian brethren and sister. You know, I'm looking forward to this fight, you know, um, between Eric, Erickson Lubin and Tim Zoo, you know, with him being the main event. Hopefully, it, it actually goes down, you know what I'm saying? I'd be very very much excited for this. I think this one's going to be, it's, it's going to be crazy, man. I think, I think it's going to be a great bounce back fight. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough bounce back fight, but hey, man, if anybody can do it, it's the soul taker. So, yeah, man, I'm very much excited for this fight, man. As you know, Erickson Lubin, I, I, I like him. You know, he's a fellow Floridian, like your, like your boy, you know what I'm saying? But he's, he's also Haitian-born, man. So I'm looking forward to see Haitian, the Haitian-born fighter. Um, Haitian descent, sorry. You know, Haitian descent. He's also Haitian. So I'm looking forward to seeing him coming back, man. You know what I'm saying? Big up to all my Zoles, man. Sa passe. You know what I'm talking about? But, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. So let me know what y'all think about this fight. Are you excited for it? Do you think it's going to be an easy fight for Tim Zoo? Do you think Erickson Lubin is capable of, uh, of, of pulling the upset? You know, I think it's a very capable fight. If I had to pick right now, whoo, that's a tough fight, man. I would lean towards Tim Zhu. You know, I would lean towards Tim Zhu by 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 unanimous decision. You know, if I'm picking right now, but Erickson Lubin, like I said, I do not want to sleep on him. You know, say fellow Floridian, Haitian born. I mean, uh, Haitian fighter. So you know, what I'm saying, hey, 
He's a big, big, big time warrior, man. So we got Haiti versus Australia, man. I really rock with it, man. Fellow Florida. So I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always. Don't forget to like the video, but most importantly, remember, we got, we can do anything without God or nothing. Y'all be easy to doctors out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. I don't know.